Welcome to a new Precious Plastic video. So in the previous video we learned about plastic and we build our own machines. However, another crucial element is to get the material. And luckily this is quite easy because plastic is everywhere around us. So you could use your own plastic waste like bottles or packaging, separate it from the normal trash. However, this is probably not enough to get a production running. Another option is to start looking for it. Gather plastic around in your local neighborhood and collect it. And this is a great method because it also cleans up the streets. However, it's still quite time consuming. So you could also ask your friends or family to collect plastic for you. I mean, the more plastic that gets recycled, the better. And once your little workshop is running and you're selling things, you could also ask people to bring plastic to you. Waste that they found or collected, they could bring it to you and get something in return. This could be money, points, products, whatever you think is worth it. And this will trigger people around you to collect plastic waste because it has a value. So we made a poster for this, which you can download in our download pack. If you cannot print that big, you can also paint it. But make sure to add a reward and select which type of plastic you're looking for. Hang this thing outside your workspace and let the magic happen. So in the previous video, we learned that there are a lot of different types of plastic out there, each with their own behavior and properties. However, they all melt at a certain temperature. So we could toss them all together and heat them up and mold it into something new. However, we don't recommend this because you end up with a mixed material. We like to keep it pure. The main reason we do this is because you end up with a pure material, which is easier to recycle again, because you know what it is. Separating plastic can be difficult in the beginning, but it will pay off in the end. So it's good to have an efficient system to do this and separate right from the start. Educate yourself and other collectors around you that there are different types of plastic. This makes it much more valuable and easier to work with. In fact, the easiest is probably to focus on one type of plastic first, fully master that and then add more. Or work in batches, like on Monday you do polypropylene, Tuesday polyethylene, etc. The machines we build prefer to work with clean plastic and there are a few ways to do this. You could just wash the plastic in its original shape, you could ask people to only bring clean plastic or you shred it and you wash it afterwards. We made a few prototypes for this. However, it totally depends what you like and where you live, which works the best. But overall, the cleaner the plastic, the better. Now, before you're gonna shred plastic, you can also sort it out in colors. So for instance, have all the blues together or make your own weird mixture. And there's no need to do this, but it's just visually interesting and it's a fun thing to do. Either way, we also made some labels, which you can print out. It's little stickers, which you can paste on the containers. And we use this to see the difference between the different types of plastic. We use these buckets. Case got a lot of those from the tobacco industry. And we like them because they're transparent. Originally we want to shred them, but then we figured they're pretty nice, let's use them. But obviously you could also just use any container out there. And by adding a label, you can easily see what's inside. It just keeps things nice and organized. Now these little stickers and the poster we just saw, you can download in our download pack. If you have any questions, feel free to post the topic in our forums. And now that we know how to collect plastic and we build the machines, it's time for the next video. Create things with plastic. Hope to see you there.